Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in the Underwood Testing Playlist. In this video, we'll write UI tests for our note list screen. Let's see the screen, this is it. So basically the test will be clicking on this floating action button and then inserting a note, even though this is not the note list screen, but we need a note. So we can insert any note here. We, we can insert an image if we want. Let's not, or let's do that, so anything. Click on save. We'll make sure that the note is actually saved in there. We can insert a new note. So like this, we click on save. We'll make sure that it's there. We'll make sure that when we delete on this button, the uh, note is actually deleted. And then we can insert a new one. So something like this. We'll make sure that it's deleted and then, I mean, it's inserted and then we delete. We'll make sure that, so all the user behavior that could happen in this screen, we'll write test cases for that. To do that, since this is an underweight test that requires underweight components, it will be inside here. But let's first see how we can actually write the, those tests, how we can click on that button and stuff. Let's go to our note list screen that I've added right here. And we will see something different that we have in this screen. So for example, let's search for the floating action button. Okay, here it is. We have this test tag that says add note fab or floating action button. And with this test tag, we can actually give a command that says perform a click on the components or on the node that has this test tag. And then that command will find this component and then it will per perform a click on it because it has this tag that we asked for. And then it will basically perform the, the on click, which is this one. And then if we go down here we're in our lazy comment, we can see that we used another test tag somewhere right here. When we want to delete a note, we have this delete note icon that has this test tag, which is again, delete note. So here we have for the note list screen. And then when we click on it, we make sure to delete a note, but which note? So we say the test tag plus the note title. So we specify this test tag and then the note that we want to delete with the title, with the ID, whatever that makes the note unique. In this case, I choose the title for testing. And in here we used actually content description. So we'll search for a node that has a content description, which is this one. And in those that we can't have a content description, like in a floating action button, we can't have a content description we then can set a test tag like this. And also, if we go to our add note presentation, this add note screen, and then just search for where we use those test tags, like this image, for example, here, as you can see, I used test tag again, but then we'll see that in the uh, outline text, we again use test tag, let's just search again in this other text field, we use text tag, in the button we use test tag, I'm not sure where I use the text, or maybe I didn't. So here again, test tag. And then how do we know if a note exists or is inserted to our list? We can just check by the title. So here we have, as you can see, a row in which we have an image and then the title. We'll just check if there is a note with our title that we specified. If there is a note with the text title that we specified, then it's there. And now let's write those tests for you to understand that. So what we want to do now is we want to go to our screen and then as they always right click on it, generate test. And I'm not going to name it KT, just note list screen test. Click on OK. This is now an underway test, not a, a local test. And the test is generated. We don't need this. Let's open our class. Now, if we check another test that we already wrote, which is the local, the node test, we saw that we annotated this one with held underway test. We uninstalled our app module to use the test module that we had in here, or the test app module. That's going to be the same. So we'll copy these, even though in this UI test, we don't need that small test annotation. So we'll paste it, but then we don't need this one. We can delete it. So we'll annotate this one with a health underwood test. And then we uninstall our official or real app module to use the test app module. Okay, let's create some space down here and let's start writing our tests. And since we want to inject dependencies to our test, we then need the rule again, which is get rule and then var health rule, which is here and will rule like this. And then I want to create another, which is a compose rule that we want or that we need to test our UI at get rule this is going to be a var compose rule that is going to be create. Actually, we have this create compose rule. Uh, what is that? So we have this one create compose rule. But since we want our activity and we want to navigate between screens, I'm going to use create underwood compose rule we want to specify the activity so here we have one activity which is our main activity now just like this we have access to all the screens that we have in our activity with this compose rule but another thing i want is that i want to set this rule to come before this one because just like this they 
they want, I want to actually make this one an order or give it an order of zero so to be the first rule and then the second rule. So we could inject dependencies to our main, our main activity. Okay, and then we want the setup function to so add before fun setup like this. And then we just want to use our health rule dot inject. So we can inject dependencies and that's it. We can already start writing our tests. So to insert a note, that's exactly what we want to do because we get an empty screen. We want to create a test that is private, fun. Actually, we want to only test it with test and it doesn't have to be private. So just fun insert note. Note is in list, okay? Just like this. So this is what we want to do and this is what we expect. Now, let's open the app and see what we are going to do. So let's delete everything. The first thing is creating, clicking on this floating action button. So let's actually do that. To do that, we want to use our compose rule dot on node with. As you can see, we have test tag on our node. So as I already showed you, let's go to the floating action button. I have a test tag on it that, that is this one, add node floating action button or fab. So I can use it on node with test tag. If I have a node that has a text like this one, this is a node that has a text, which is zero notes, okay? And this one as well, which is D, that's a node with a text. And then I can use it if I want. In this case, and I will use it later. And if I have an, uh, an icon that has an image like the one in our add node screen that had an, a content description, that image, we can use this one with it. In this case, now we have a tag. So let's use our tag and the tag is going to be test tags dot add note fab so we want to find this node and then we can do anything like perform a click assert that it's displayed it's in there assert that it's not displayed like this it's not there it doesn't exist whatever now we want to perform a click on it so when we run the test all that is going to happen is that the test will click on this floating action button okay that's exactly what's going to happen right here and then after click on, on the floating action button, we want to insert some item or some text in these two text fields, okay? So let's do that because when we click on it, we actually navigate to this screen. So we can just copy this now and then paste it. Now we want to find a, no a node with test tag or with a tag that is test tag dot title text field as you can see. Now we don't want to perform a click. What we want is to perform a text input. We want to put a text on it. So that text can be, for example, title, okay? Like that. And then we want to input some description in this one. So let's do that. So here we input it title like this, and then here description. But then I want to change this one to be my description text field like this. And then I want to save the note. So here I inserted my description like this. I want to save the notes. I want to click on this button. To do that, we can just copy this one again, go down here and then save, search for save button, which is the test tag that we had on the button in our screen. So if we go here, actually not in this screen, but we can just search for it like this. In the add note screen, which is this one, as you can see in that button, we have this test tag that is save button, okay? So after click on, on this one, we will go back to our note screen and then we want to make sure that the note is actually there. So how do we do that? Again, using our compose rule dot on node with text now, as you can see this one on node with text. So we'll find a node that has this text title and then we want to assert that it's displayed. So assert that is, is displayed. And we want to assert that the node is displayed, okay? So what we did is we clicked on the floating action button, we input some text in the text field, the title text field, some text in the description text field, we clicked on the save button, and then we came back here to make sure that the note is actually there. Now, let's run the test and see if this actually happens or not. We can close this app and wait for it. As you can see, it did pass. So what just happened is that the app was installed and then all those commands are just executed. So let's see that again. It was very fast, but the node was inserted and the test passed and, the, and this one says it is inserted. So here it is, it inserted some things. The node was there and then it inserted that it is there. So that's a basic UI test, as you can see. I made sure that I inserted the node and then it is there. And then I can also do something else, which is deleting the node. So like this, delete node, 
and then I want to assert that it's no longer displayed. So title asserts that it is not displayed like this. Now let's run the test again. So now we are deleting the notes after inserting it. And then I want to make sure that it's deleted. As, as you can see, okay, it's inserted, but then the test actually failed. So let's see why it didn't find this one, which is delete notes. I'm not sure, maybe I didn't use that one. It is because, so it, it is there in the screen. Let's actually find it in right here. As you can see, it's actually content description and that is the lead note plus the title. That's exactly the mistake I made. So let's just copy these. Now what we want to find is on note with content description. That's the mistake I made. We want this, which is the, the tag and then the note that we want to delete or the title of the notes that we want to delete like this. Okay, and then we want to perform our click on it like this. Let's rerun this and see if it passes or not. Now it passes, so our UI test is working just fine. Okay, so this is now how we do this, but I want this to be a little bit more complex. I want to insert a bunch of notes to my list and just inserting them like this is not really good. So. I need to insert every time and then make sure, but I want to insert a lot. How do I do this? By actually automating this process. Now, right here, let me just create another function called private fun called insert note. This one takes a note number of type int like this. And what this one is going to do is it will click on the floating action button. It will then input some text in the text field like this. That is going to be title plus the note number. So note number like this. And then it will also perform some text input on this one, which is the description one. That is going to be description plus my note number. And then it will save it. So we will search for save this one. It will just save it like this. So that's it for the insert one. Now, the next test we have is for deleting. So private fun delete note. That takes again a note number like this. And all this one is going to do is exactly this, only listing a note. So it's going to be title plus my note number like this. So that's exactly what we inserted in here. And then we just delete it. And then the next thing is asserting that it's not displayed. So private fun assert note is displayed like this. And yes, that's exactly what we are going to do. Asserting our note is displayed. So let me just copy this one, paste it there. And what we are going to assert is my note number like this, title plus note number. And then the last one is assert is not displayed like this. And here assert is not displayed. Okay, so now we can take this function right here. And now here we will use these ones to actually uh, automate that test. And this one is going to be called note list screen and to end test, okay? This will be an end-to-end -end test for my note screen. Now I can just delete everything because these functions are going to do it for me. And the first thing I want to do is insert a note with the number one. And then, or actually before doing this end-to-end -end test, let's just create another test that is just insertion. So insert note, note is displayed like this in list, okay? I want to insert the note and then asserting that is displayed one like this. And then the next one, you just copy this, paste it. Now actually delete note. Note is not displayed in list. To delete it, first of all, it needs to be inserted like this. And then we want to delete the note with one and then assert that is not displayed one. Okay, so let's actually run the first test, which is this one, asserting a note and the test passes, the note is inserted, and it is displayed. Now, inserting a note and then making sure it's displayed and then deleting it like this. So let's see that if this test passes or not, it also passes. Now we can create our end-to-end -end test. So we want to assert the first note and then we want to, I mean, insert the first note and then assert that it's displayed like this. And then we can just copy this a bunch more times. So. So let's insert three notes and then let's delete the first note, assert that the first note is not displayed like this, but also assert that the rest of the notes are still displayed after deleting one of the notes. So now we're deleting the first one, 
we make sure that it's no longer displayed, which is the first one, but we also make sure that the rest of the notes are still displayed because we didn't delete them. And then insert another note that is like four. And then we try deleting more notes like now, trying to delete the third one. So deleting three, and then we want to assert again stuff. So first of all, assert that the third one is actually not displayed because we deleted it, but assert the uh, second one is displayed because it wasn't deleted and also the fourth one. Now, as you can see, it's such a big test. Let's run it and see if this actually happens. We are asserting a lot of notes, like four notes, deleting notes, asserting that they are there and they are not there if they are deleted. And let's see if this passes or not. Yes, the end-to-end -end passes. The end-to-end -end test passes, as you can see. So that's how you actually create end-to-end -end tests. Here, we can just insert more notes as you want, deleting them. You can probably create a full loop to even insert so many notes and then delete all of them. You can do whatever you want just with these functions that will automate that for you and then you just tell it what to do okay so now we tested our note list screen with ui tests and also an end-to-end -end test and this is it for this video in the next video we'll test our add note screen so see you and bye